Hi guys, I'm here to do a real quick haul. I'm not actually at home at the moment. I'm down in Kent visiting family. I wasn't going to vlog because I am only here for one full day. I got here today. I'm here for tomorrow and then I go back the following day. But I found a nice new pet shop and I've got a few bits I haven't been able to get back where I live. These are all new bits I've never tried before with my current hamsters. Two things are... Um, that I've tried with my previous hamsters, just tubes and this. Um, the rest of it is new, so hopefully the hamsters will enjoy it. If they do, I will be regularly stocking up every time I come down here. So, the first thing is this. This is a puzzle playground accessory kit. Now, I had one for my old Robo Daryl. He absolutely adored it. He'd actually nest in this a lot of the time. And... It's really good because it's got, um, I haven't opened it properly, but it's really, you, you can basically add as many of these as you want. So you've got the little squares and then you've got these that go on the inside. Um, then you've got obviously triangular shaped ones and then the inserts for the triangular in there. You get, these are the entryways. This is how the hamster would actually get in or out of your puzzle playground and that's the big clippy bits that go on them um i find these are really good because my own robo used to nest in this and if you can see it's actually got a lot of holes on it so when they do pee or poop in this it comes basically straight out the bottom so it's really easy to clean and you can make so many different things out of it obviously this is the back of the box um this is what i tend to make because you also get a little slide with it. And it's got two little clips there. So it just clips into any of the squares. Um, this is... I, I've made all three of these actually. And then obviously I'll make my own ones up as well. You can literally just put it together however you want. So if the Robos do like that. I may be getting another one. So I can make a bigger sort of maze for them. Um, the only other things in this bag I've tried before, again, not with my current hamsters, but for previous hamsters, I got these two, I think they're called tubes, or chubs, tu tubes, they actually are called tubes, um, I got these for Nugget, she should be able to, well she will be able to fit a bum in these, I've used these for my other Syrians, Although she is my biggest Syrian, she should be able to use these without no trouble. The Robos, I just give toilet roll tubes because they're so small they can fit through the tiniest of gaps. So, yeah, I've got two of these. Um, I'll go through the prices as well. The Puzzle Playground was 5 99 at the range. This is the only one I didn't get in the local pet shop. So this is from the range. Everything else is from a local pet shop in Elsham. These tubes were one, uh, one twenty-five or one fifty each, so they will come in really handy. Now I do know you can get these at Pets at Home, but Pets, my Pets at Home never seems to have this size one. They always seem to have the really big bunny size ones, and at the moment that's not suitable for Nuggets Cage. Hopefully soon she will be getting a new one, but at the moment she's not now the rest of this is treats now obviously i don't overfeed my hamsters treats but i got them some popcorn these were one pound a bag i got some banana popcorn and some cherry flavor popcorn actually yellow and red um now i have a popcorn machine at home and i have given them unflavoured popcorn before um only to chicken nugget she liked it so i'm hoping maybe she'll like this um the boys i'm not too sure they they can be quite uh weird with new stuff but i'm pretty sure they'll eat that because well nugget will definitely eat the banana one she goes absolutely nuts for banana flavor things they did have an apple one but because i don't know how the boys would react to this and Nugget hates apple. 
I didn't get anything I know Nugget's not gonna eat which is really strange because all my other hamsters have liked ha apple and apple flavoured things but she absolutely hates it so the next thing in the bag now these are really cute they had a variation of these but it had that kind of alfalfa hay stuff in it and my hamsters don't eat that so these are little ice cream cones that are probably not filled all the way probably not filled all the way down but they are all this is by a brand called Vita Vita Paul um like so I've never heard of this brand so they've never had anything like this but this is a vegetable seed and honey mixed in a wafer cone like a little ice cream cone so I got two of them I want to give one to the robos and one to nugget because I know they will absolutely love them they do love their dangly treats I got another one which is basically the same but instead of being in a wafer tube it's in this really hard biscuit type thing and it makes up this little oops, burger um so I thought that was really quite cute this was a pound the same as the tubes were a pound uh, the other thing what else did I get I got a now these are all the hanging dangle treats this one actually I've got two of these because I'm pretty sure they're both gonna like them these ones are in the size uh, in the flavor sorry popcorn um, these are they don't quite look like popcorn but they're sort of multicolored it looks like kind of rice maybe <coughs> and these are again they're by, they're by Vitapool but this range is called Smackerbox so I've got two popcorn ones now these two are different I don't know who's gonna eat what this one will probably go to the robos because Nugget doesn't eat a lot of um coconut I've given it to her before in like a mix and she she kind of leaves this out so this I will try for the for the robos this is a coconut and rose petal smackers it's just that one you can see some of the big chunks in there so that's probably going to be for the robos and then I've got a vegetable smackers um which is just basically vegetables on a stick as well which is that one and it does actually look really tasty I think Nugget would like that so they were all a pound each each of them were one pound I got a bag of mealworms now the reason I got these is because this little shop doesn't buy weight normally you have to get a big old bag of them and I don't know if my hamster's going to eat them so it would be a waste if I got a big old box but this shop doesn't buy weight so I just got um it's about 50 grams in there maybe a little bit less he weighed them out especially for me so these are mainly for my Robo Roskies my previous uh Robo Daryl absolutely went crazy for these uh dried mealworms never given them no i lie i have given them to my syrians i've given them to benji he's the only one that had uh had mealworms and he didn't eat them he would pick them out his bowl and he would leave them behind so these are just dried they're obviously they're not alive um they're just dried dried mealworms and of course they're a good really good source of uh extra protein so i want to that and then the last thing oh sorry these were 75p for the whole bag like in weight so it's also quite cheap now the last thing i do have a bit of a obsession for bowls 
before I started YouTube I had other hamsters and bearing in mind I've only ever had one hamster at a time apart from a couple of months when I had Benji and Daryl together but that was only for a couple of months I've only ever had one hamster at a time and I've had about 10 bowls I did sell them all because I was adamant I wasn't going to get no more hamsters and obviously I've got more hamsters so I've started building up my collection again but I've got another bowl this is a sloped and rounded corner bowl it's nice and deep at the back so it's really good for nuggets food but if I do use it for the boys they can easily climb in and this was £1.50 so that is my haul of what I got I do hope the hamsters will enjoy them and if they do I will be buying them again and if my robos nest in this or they use it I 100% will be buying these because I absolutely love them this is probably one of my favorite products for dwarf hamsters and I highly highly recommend if you have a very small Syrian or I wouldn't even say Syrians can you actually it can get quite tight um but if you have a dwarf definitely buy one of these these are so so cheap and they are, they are very spacious I will probably buy another one if they use it just because I have two at a time and Although they both can fit comfortably in there with plenty of room, I'll make a bigger one. And then if they don't want to nest together, one can nest at one end. One can nest at the other end, they can both use it, but they're not going to fight over it. Which, they tend to not fight anymore, but it's, it's always a possibility when you keep more than one hamster at a time. So, yeah, that's my haul. I hope you enjoy it, and I will be back in Kent soon so I'll get back to filming but for now I'll catch you all later guys bye